This is Car Seat Blog's preview of the 2021 Toyota Sienna minivan. This is the LE trim with all-wheel drive and the LE Plus package. Very well equipped for just under $40,000, including destination and fees. The all-new Sienna is a hybrid in all trim levels, and with all-wheel drive, it gets 35 miles per gallon, which is quite amazing for such a large vehicle that does not have a plug. So great fuel economy. You'll get an extra mile a gallon up to about 36 if you choose the front wheel drive version, but excellent fuel efficiency pretty much across the line since it's a hybrid in every trim and still has decent power uh, for passing and for acceleration into traffic, even perhaps if not quite as lively as the previous generation model. You can see the updated styling on the all-new Sienna, including the trademark Toyota front end. So great new looks. This is a pre-production model, so the caveat being that the final retail version may have slight changes, so please take any comments here with a grain of salt as there was no owner's manual provided at the time of this video, so I cannot confirm all of the features uh, just going by what is available from Toyota at this point. These are arriving on dealers lots right now so they are available and they do have a full array of safety features. Toyota Safety Sense is a leader in including automatic emergency braking and other active safety features on all trim levels of all vehicles. For 2021 you also get blind spot and rear cross traffic warning standard. So that is an improvement for something that was available as an option or on higher trim levels in previous model years. So great job Toyota for putting those standard on the Sienna, making it a leader again in terms of safety. There are no crash test results or safety ratings yet for the all new Sienna. It is not yet tested by the IIHS or NHTSA. So we'll have to wait for those. We expect good results as the previous version uh, but we'll have to wait and see for sure as far as official safety ratings go. Taking a look at the view from the rear, you can see the nice black badging and the nice updated tail light treatment for 2021. Again, a pre-production version as we look inside at car seat compatibility, so keep that in mind. And we'll take a look first at the cargo hatch. Generous storage here. You can see deep well having lots of room, a nice side pocket for additional storage off to the left. And you can see one surprise here in the third row already, which is a full array of three top tether anchors for the third row. Both outboard and the center seats all having a top tether anchor in 2021. And of course those seats fold as you would expect into the well, which has great storage if you have those seats in use. We will take now a look at the second row in terms of car seats. Upper trim levels have that kick to open feature where you swipe your foot under. And upper trim levels also have a seven passenger variant. This is the eight passenger model with the bench seat or the middle seat instead of a center console that comes with the captain's chairs on the upper trim levels. So taking a look here, you might notice already that we have a rear facing infant only seat installed with latch in the center seat of the second row. That is new for 2021. There did not used to be the ability to have lower latch installations in the center, but for 2021 they've included a separate pair of latch anchors for this middle seat along with the standard lower latch anchors that were available in the two captain's chairs. So now three pairs of lower latch anchors and of course top tether anchors in all three positions. So full latch across the center row for all three seats. So that provides a lot of flexibility in terms of using latch or seat belts and getting three across car seats in the second row. So there'll be a lot of options for three across. The middle seat is not particularly wide, but it is wider than in most 
midsize SUVs, so there are going to be lots of seats that work in this middle seat with latch or with the seat belt. So you can see the center seat belt is mounted on the top of the seat, actually at the top of the driver's side seat in the second row. So it's not coming from the roof, which is nice. So we expect there to be good compatibility in the middle. Uh, all but the widest seats are probably going to work there. And many seats will allow for three across or adjacent seats. Uh, this is the Nuna Pippa rear-facing only infant seat installed with its rigid latch system in that center seat. The nice thing is that this seat is a typical size infant seat and even though it is installed in the middle it's going to allow me to release this second row outboard seat, move it forward even with a rear-facing only infant seat installed in the center. So now we have uh, even without removing or moving the car seat, we have the ability to get this wide access to the third row on the passenger side. So that's nice too. So many seats that aren't particularly wide will install in the middle and still let you fold forward this outboard passenger side seat to get access. And then of course, the 60 section is on the driver's side. Uh, so you'll be able to fold that if you had a single car seat in this passenger seat. So lots of flexibility in the second row, and we're also happy to mention that these head restraints do remove with the push of the button, as you would expect, as typical in many Toyota vehicles. This middle seat head restraint is also removable, so no compatibility issues with car seats in general in the second row. Those head restraints won't be a problem blocking tall boosters, and uh, no issues with the seat belt. These buckle stocks are rigid, but uh, generally, I have not found any particular problems in the second row. They're far enough back, and they do have enough of a pivot angle to allow for good car seat installations in the cases I've tried so far. So second row, excellent. And now we'll take a look at the third row of the 2021 Sienna. You can see on the passenger side, I have a Graco. It's the Nautilus Snug Lock forward-facing combination harness booster seat. I've installed it with the Snug Lock system using the seat belt, but I could have installed it in the outboard passenger side seat in the third row using latch because Toyota has equipped that spot with those lower latch anchors, and you saw the top tether earlier in the video, so there's a full set of latch in this outboard seating position. But I use the seat belt uh, just to be able to slide it a little bit over toward the door side, and that allowed me to fold the 60% folding section of the third row, even with this relatively wide combination seat installed behind the passenger side. So that's a nice feature. You can get a full-size forward-facing car seat in the third row on the passenger side installed using latch or seatbelt, and then you can still fold for storage uh, the section on the driver's side. Uh, so now we're going to flip that seat up and take a closer look at what we have in terms of lower latch attachments. Again, you saw that we had the full set of three top tether anchors for this third row, and there is now a full set of lower latch anchors in this third row. So you can see the ones for the driver's side. Uh, there's a little bit low light, but we'll try to get a look there. There's the bar there. And there is actually a fifth anchor provided right here for the center seat. So there are actually five anchors providing the ability to put a lower latch anchor connected car seat in any of the third row seats. Of course, you could not share anchors, so you will not be able to use latch in all three seats in the third row at the same time. But you could, for example, put one in each of the outboard seats behind the driver and passenger using lower latch anchors, which you could not do in the previous generation Sienna because they did not have a pair for the two for the driver's side outboard seat. But you can now put in two seats in driver and passenger outboard side. You could put two narrower seats using the lower latch anchors on the passenger side and in the center. And that is again because of that fifth anchor which is shared. It is also shifted toward the driver's side of the vehicle. So if you do install a car seat using these two lower latch anchors in the third row, they will block these buckle stocks. So you will essentially lose 
the driver's side seating position, but that's okay. You can get two car seats back here with latch, and of course all three seats in the third row have that top tether anchor as well. So a lot of flexibility back here for car seats with latch or seat belt. Uh, a couple of minor points to mention. These head restraints on the outboard seats are uh, folding, but not removable. So fortunately they do not project too far forward of the seat, so I don't think there are going to be a lot of compatibility issues, but there could be a very tall booster or combination seat where they are too far forward. But you can see with this Graco Nautilus that head restraint is not a particular issue. I'll raise this up and you can see there's really no conflict there even at the taller settings. So we'll just get it to lock into place. Uh, so those head restraints, while they do not remove, I don't think they're going to be problematic in most cases. The center seat head restraint does have the standard button and can be adjusted up and down and removed if you have a taller seat in the middle. So a lot of flexibility there. Perhaps one minor quibble is that the single rigid buckle stock for this outboard seat uh, does have limited pivot upward and projects fairly far forward. So some car seats, depending on their belt path, that could be problematic. Again, with the snug lock installation system, this Graco Nautilus did install well there. So uh, hopefully that will be compatibility issue with very few car seats. Overall, this is a great update for the Sienna in terms of car seat compatibility and flexibility compared to the previous generation giving you more options for three across and installation types such that if you were unable to get a good seat belt installation, for example, in this outboard passenger side third row seat, you could then simply use the latch system for installation, giving you more flexibility and more compatibility. So Toyota did a great job improving the Sienna for 2021 and making it on par with the Honda Odyssey minivan in terms of latch and car seat compatibility. So we'll have to wait for a retail model of this Sienna to give you an idea if it is as competitive as the Odyssey, but it sure looks from this pre-production model that it will be on par with the best vehicles, uh, certainly with minivans better than almost any midsize SUV and even on par with some of the full-size vehicles in terms of space and flexibility. So Toyota, great job with the all new Sienna in terms of car seats and flexibility and with the styling all new for 2021. Check out our preview of the 2021 Toyota Sienna at carseatblog.com.